some of my paintings have a very simple uh, background and I sometimes I'm highly amused with the small things behind it. This is one of these paintings. In Genesis 1 verse 2, right in the beginning of the story of creation, we find this painting. Uh, the earth is, is, there's nothing there. The earth is absolutely in blackness and there seems to be water because scripture says that the spirit was hovering, moving, or what I like is brooding over the water. And that inspired me to paint this. Again, there was blackness. There was no light. There was no... Uh, if, if you think, think about it, it was amazing. It was nothing. Because I don't paint with black, I paint with deep blue, which I find much nicer. So, and I painted the hovering, the brooding spirit. You know, the word brooding has something promising in it. Something, something comes out of it. It's, when you're brooding on something, it's, it's, it, 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 something has to come out of it. It is a, a promise. It, is an, 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 it has an outcome. And that's how I see this. The fact that the Spirit of God was there right at the beginning in the darkness of creation then there was something really great to happen and we know it happened so the spirit of god might not have been visible but i thought i make it visible i put the whiteness on top of the darkness because the holiness on top of the darkness the holiness and the darkness they don't go together but they do go together in situations like that, although they are separate. So, you know what? The light, the spirit, one. Darkness was no more because God appeared and, uh, and he is light. So, that is the background of this painting. 